We are now ready to design the columns and walls. Go to Building Analysis Pre-Analysis tab, click Added Materials. As you can see, we will be using Grade 500 steel for both walls and concrete. Click on Grade 500 next to Column. Click Edit next to the rebar diameter. These are the master settings for rebar's diameters to be used in the design. For column design, review the rebars to be used in the design for the vertical bar and the shear links. Click Cancel. Cancel again. For shear walls, the first material applies to general longitudinal bars for walls without end zone containment. The second and third material, longitudinal and horizontal web rebar will only be applicable if wall end zone containment is selected in the design settings. Shear walls with end zone is usually only required for medium and high ductility seismic design. Similarly, you should check the rebar diameter of the walls in the corresponding table. Click Cancel to exit the Material dialog, then click Close to exit the Building Analysis dialog. Go to Design tab, where are the design functions are available. Design All. This is very quick way to design the members. However, it doesn't show any useful information of individual columns pass and failure. Hence, it is not recommended if it is the first round of the design. It is useful if you have already designed the members before, and due to amendments, you want a quick redesign or recheck. Cancel to exit. Click Column Section Design. Maximize the dialog for a better view. The Column Design module lists all the columns and walls and the relevant information, such as the size, the design status, utilization ratio, percentage of steel supplied, and reinforcement. Click on Settings and Parameters. This will open up the column and shear wall design settings in the settings center. Under design, in the minimum steel percentages dialog, you can set the minimum percentage of steel and the moment capacity tolerance. Read the notes provided for guidance. Rebars tab. Selection method. Fixed bar layout. This applies only if there is a previous design. This option will not modify the number and position of the previous bars. Only the rebar diameter will be increased to achieve a pass. Bar spacing maximization method. The design will maximize the spacing or distance between the bars by increasing the bar sizes as priority. Bar size minimization method. The design will minimize the spacing between the bars. As a result, smaller bar sizes will be selected. Select bar size maximization method. This is usually the preferred method for a new model. Column Containment. This allows you to select your preferred column links for square and rectangular columns. Wall Containment. This allows you to select various standard steel layout for shear walls as defined in the design code. Longitudinal Bars. This is where you set the main longitudinal or vertical bars parameters such as minimum and maximum bar size. The bar sizes are obtained from the materials dialog. You can change it. Ensure the minimum and maximum diameter of column is H13 and H32 respectively. Ensure the minimum and maximum diameter of shear wall is H10 and H25 respectively. The minimum and maximum steel bar spacing and the concrete cover can also be changed here. Links. The link size, spacing, and additional parameters related to the shear design can be changed here. Mesh steel. For shear walls, mesh reinforcement can be used if it is chosen in the materials dialog. The mesh steel settings are only applicable if mesh steel is chosen for wall design. Detailing. General. Here there are settings for kicker depth, rebar bob or bending of bar, control, link shape type, and bar lap positions. Elevations. These settings affect the RC column and walls elevation drawings. Schedules. These settings affect the RC column and wall schedule drawings. Click OK to save the changes and exit. Currently, the design status shows the columns and walls are not designed. To design all the columns and walls at one go, choose Column Design, Batch Mode. In the Batch Design, there are three options. Check Steel, select new steel when previous bars are insufficient. This option is only applicable if a previous design was done. 
This option will check if the existing reinforcement is sufficient and only increase the reinforcement at location where it is not sufficient. At location where is sufficient, even if over-designed, will be left unchanged. Check steel, don't select steel when previous bars are insufficient. This option is only applicable if a previous design was done. This option will check if the existing reinforcement is sufficient and will not increase the reinforcement even if it is insufficient. Fail beam axis will be marked accordingly with a red cross. Reselect all bars. This option will completed redesign all beams using the current beam design settings. This basically ignores all previous design. Since this is our first time designing columns, choose Reselect all bars. Click Calculate and the batch design will start. When the design is completed, the message icon will appear. It is very important to display the message as it contains vital information about pass and failure reason. If the rebars can be selected and percentage of steel reported, it means the auto design is a successful and the design status will be shown as pass. If there are failures, the exact reasons will be stated and the design status will be shown as fail. Close the message report. Close the column batch design dialog. The design screen will be refreshed now to show the design status, percentage of steel, and steel bars. The columns to be included in the report are marked by a tick in the print column. Only columns that are successfully designed can be marked for printing. Columns can be added or removed from the report by checking or unchecking the print check box. Go to Reports tab. Click Remove Print Marks to remove all the print marking. Then mark only column GC1 for printing. Click Design Report. In the Reports dialog, there are further choices, which are self-explanatory. Let's check the first three options. Click OK. The column report will be generated, with the design combinations and interaction diagram included. All reports can be exported as PDF, Microsoft Word, Image or Web Page HTML format. Inspect the report. Close the report. Let us generate the report again. But this time, check only the fourth option, Include Column, Wall Sections Report. Click OK. A more concise report is generated. Inspect the report. Close the report. Click Mark All Columns, for printing. Click Rebar Table. This report lists down all the reinforcement of the column in a table format. Inspect the report. Then close the report. Click Column Forces Listing. Here you can choose to print out the design forces used in the column and wall design module. Click List Only Columns of Foundation Level means to only print columns in Story 1, Ground Floor. There are further options, which are self-explanatory. Click List, and the forces listing report will be generated. Inspect the report. Then close. Click Cancel to exit the dialog. All reports generated will automatically be saved and made available for compilation in Report Manager later. Hence, it is important that the required report must be generated.